We all know that the Greek freak, Yanis Atatokounmpo, can be found just north of here in Milwaukee. But did you know Chicago has its own Greek freak? His name is Pontelis Zidias. He's a walk-on sophomore guard at DePaul. Yes, his name is tough to pronounce, even tougher to spell, and you won't see him appear very often on the score sheet. But ask anyone in the program, they will tell you he is a vital member of the Blue Demons family. Here's Shea Pepler. Pantelis doing what Pantelis does so well. It's beneficial to the team, and, and being a part of a team, being a part of anything really is really important. And if you're going to be in something, I feel like you should be in it 100%. So just being here, which is a blessing in, in itself, I feel like I need to bring something. So if I can't be playing on the court, you know, if I'm not going to be playing those meaningful minutes, then I need to be meaningful somewhere else, you know, to make up for it. When did you realize people were starting to take notice of what you were doing on the bench? Probably the first game. We had our game against Notre Dame, you know, it was the inaugural game for Wintrust, and it was incredible. And um, after the game, you know, I was just doing my thing, being, you know, upful and cheerful and all that. And then afterwards, there were a bunch of tweets, and, you know, SB Nation was tweeting about me, and I was like, wow, this is crazy, because I've been doing this since my high school year, you know, since my senior year. Now, all of a sudden, everybody's taking note of it, you know, tweeting about it. So that was really, really cool. And he never has, you know, the cliche, never have a bad day. He doesn't have a bad moment. And I'm jealous of him for that. Uh, but he brings the kind of effervescence, the energy, the spirit uh, that, that everybody should have in their lifetime. And somehow he's captured it at a young age. He's given it to not just our team, but he's given it to our university. And he's become a national figure by not playing the game, but by just being as energized as he is on the sideline. And he can dance, huh? And he can dance. <laughs> Struce, the trailer. Struce! Do you have a go-to move, like someone banks a three, there's a go-to, a layup, there's a, is there go-to's? For a travel, you know how it's like this, yeah. you know how that's the call, mm -hmm. so I usually, you know, hit a little Millie Rock like oh, that, you know, a little it. something. Millie for um, a travel. Last year, I was doing the hit them folks a lot, but that kind of died out, you know, the trends go, come and go, so I'm kind of out of that. Um, what else do I have? Honestly, when people score, I just jump around, and that's just innate. How have the guys reacted to you? How have your teammates reacted to you and your attitude and your positivity? So when I first got here, I think people were pretty confused because they probably thought I was going to be playing a, a, a role on the basketball court. And then all of a sudden, I was just clapping on the bench cheering. So they were like, who is this guy? What is he doing? You know, why is he so locked into clapping and cheering? But by now, everybody's pretty much used to it. It's, it's just Pont, Pontelis, you know, that guy over there clapping. I'm used to it. You love this guy. Hey, that's my How man. How about that? Happy <laughs> birthday, by the way. It's his 20th birthday to Pontelis oh, today. I'm going, hey, oh, he's 20? All right, I was going to say the wrong thing. <laughs> I was, was going yeah, to say I was going to take him somewhere and maybe go to referee or something. But no, next year at Pontelis. Well, one thing I don't yeah. think his teammates thought was that he was going to be on the court. Though. I don't think he walked into the gym and everybody said, you know what, that guy is going to be a starter. Hey, you'd be surprised. Some dudes will light you up in the rec league. You, you know, you exactly. look just like that. Got to be careful out here.